Hello, my name is Peter Raymer, and in this series of video, we've been looking at chain of command and how you can use chain of command to extend base Microsoft code on uh, base Microsoft objects. We've looked at doing this for classes, for tables, for forms, form data sources, form data source fields, form controls, and now we're going to look at how we would do this for a data entity and the methods on the data entity. So in this example, let's say we're looking at the sales line V2 entity, which is a data entity. Um, I can look at it in the designer. This data entity can have methods on it, including, um, say, a validate write method. We can see what that would look like. Um, by right clicking and saying view code. Um, and so let's just say we've added a new custom field on uh, this data entity and we want to add some kind of validation or maybe we haven't added a uh, custom field. We just want to add additional validation when this data entity is saving um, data. We could use chain of command on this validate right to do that. So let's right click and say add new item. We're going to select class, and then I'm going to call this sales order line v2 entity underscore extension. I always have to use that underscore extension. Like always, the first thing that we need to do is add an attribute up top. We can do that with the square brackets. We need to use the global function extension of, and then we need to uh, use another function to tell it what kind of object we're extending. In this case, a little kind of confusing is we want to use the table string function. The table string function is going to show us all tables as well as data entities. So in this case, I can say sales order line v2 uh, entity. And then I can close my parentheses of the table string, close my parentheses of the extension of. Next, I need to use the keyword final uh, in front of our class. That's just a requirement of chain of command. I'm also naming my class with underscore extension. That's another requirement. Next, we can actually just grab our method definition as it would appear on our object um, and kind of stub that out. This is the method that we want to use chain of command on. Um, the next thing or really last thing that we need to do is we need to call the base method. So I'm going to declare a new variable called ret and I'm actually going to set that equal to next validate right and actually call our um, base method return the value into the ret variable and then I'm going to return that ret value. Now that I've done that we've got the basic stub of a chain of command method. I can actually now add my additional code that I want to add. I can do that using the this keyword. Let's just pretend I want to say if this dot and it'll show me all the methods on this populated data entity. I could say delivery address uh, country region ID and say okay if the country region ID um, does not equal oops, um, if it does not equal, I don't know, USA or, or US, um, uh, I could throw an error message if I needed to. Um, I can say ret equals check failed and say, um, you know, sales orders cannot be created with a country other than US. I don't know if that would actually be a requirement for you, um, but you can see this is where you can actually apply your additional functionality, return a different return result based on some condition that you have, um, and add additional criteria to your data entity method. You can extend any other uh, data entity methods kind of the similar way um, using this chain of command extension type. Um, and following kind of these uh, these steps. Thanks so much for watching.